<sighs> you have no idea what we're going through right now. We are so stressed out. I know it doesn't look like it. She keeps it's quirky. She keeps messing with the Go. goddamn camera. Oops, the damn. Oops. The camera. I'm not messing up anything. That okay. was an amazing song written and um, written by Donna Britton Bukovic. Is that how you say it? Bukovic. Bukovic. Whatever. Anyway. And <laughs> Ross Orenstein. <laughs> I always call Donna Donna Britton. Donna Britton. But she's now using her married name after all these years. So I was trying to help out and acknowledge that. <sighs> Anywho, um, yeah, so that was Bon Appetit. That's in our movie, Turnover. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out, especially during the holidays. It's a really nice family film. But tonight, we're going to be making you... Sunday Gravy. Sunday Gravy. Otherwise known as... What's BP? Our oven. Oh, we had to the preheat oven. the oven the because oven we're going to be BP. making garlic bread. So, so. Sunday Gravy uh, is a tradition in it's a, the... Nice tradition. Uh, Italian neighborhood. Why am I being cut off? Because because okay. I don't know how to operate there my camera go. in this mode. <laughs> it's basically marinara sauce, red sauce, uh, spaghetti sauce that cooks all day and with it, wine. With wine. It's that's a very important ingredient. You cook all day with wine. So this is a tribute to. Uh, some friends of ours that used to live... Lena's watching. Hi, Lena. Hi, Lena. Uh, Lena's our partner on Cat Dex. Hello. Great. Shut up and let me finish. Now I have to acknowledge the people that are watching us. Okay, acknowledge, acknowledge, acknowledge. <laughs> Fine. <sighs> Lena, you're acknowledged. Thank you for watching. So, this is a tribute to... Uh, Your neighbor. Our neighbor. Rick and Mary. Ginsburg. Ginsburg. So we're in Florida now. Wait, my brother Lena says wine and dish or drinking it. <laughs> Hillary's watching too. Hi, Hillary. And that means Dion's probably with her. Well, either that or <laughs> some 17 year old hooker or something. Oh my God. It's a child friendly show. You keep saying that and it doesn't work. <gasps> okay, so. <laughs> she goes, so. Hillary's like, we're here too. Anyway, <laughs> get back to our friends. Mark started this Sunday gravy. With Rick. And it was, we started making the sauce at about 11 o'clock in the morning. And They're had winos. dinner by four, and we were totally trash. trash. Lenora's here. Hello, Happy Lenora. birthday, Lenora. <laughs> we're not that's, allowed to sing. That's two people in Texas, Lenora and Hillary. All right. So, anyway, <laughs> we're going to show say, you. We're going to show you the quick version of Sunday very, gravy. Very quick version. Because uh, seriously, they used to cook all day long. Well, no. The sauce was cooking. We were drinking. They were drinking. But. Oh, <laughs> Speaking of drinking, where's the wine? The wine's over the there. The wine is very important. Mark's going to show us all the wine. Okay. So today we are going to have a delatory. And because this is Italian, a the hell is this? Oh, a Chianti Reserva. Here, put it up there. Wait a minute. I can't see it. You got to show the... There you the go. Yeah, Chianti. And of course, Chianti. the infamous wine Lure opener. <laughs> Lenora's like, drink, drink. And the absolutely perfect way of opening a Mark does wine. that every time. Because I hate using foil cutters. He's perfected it. <clears throat> Lenora said, thank you very much for honoring her birthday. Well, she just put heart, heart, her, but I know it's because we said happy birthday. <laughs> this is really weird. So I'm like doing the camera, but it's, it's kind of weird because it's, it's definitely backwards. I'm going to do a little roundabout right here. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy because there's Mark again. I was on the wrong side of that camera. Oh, look at that wine. Wine. Oh, sorry. I have to put the trusty knife away. Yeah, put the crusty knife away. Oh, my daughter said, oh, yes, I will find that and send. Oh. <laughs> I got a message from Brooklyn to you, Brooklyn. Now, this, had, what do you think of this? Because we actually haven't had this yet. So most of the this time we really drink good. a wine that we've already had so we can, like, 
recommend it. If but you, this was if you like Chianti's, this is well good. All right. It is very nice. Now I we have get to say into it's very nice. The cooking. The cooking. So again, there's a little pre cooking going on here. So there is. I'm going to put this down just for a second so you guys can see what I'm going to be doing. I'll move my glass. So, here I am. Not bad. I had to... The bread needs to start first. So, I bought some French bread. It's super nice. water. And I have cut it in half. So this is about how much garlic bread we're gonna have tonight. It's a lot, but you know, what are you gonna do? And- it's dietetic garlic bread. You get some butter. See, we have some soft butter in here. So I'm gonna get that. And I'm gonna put, ooh, about this much butter in. Ooh, slipping that much butter. And who else is like Dion? <laughs> Camp, I can't see this. Camp, Campa, what's that, Dion? I don't understand. Anyway, so here we go. Initially, I'm gonna blow up the kitchen. Don't blow up the kitchen, Mark. And I'm gonna take Parmesan cheese. See the Parmesan? I'm gonna put that in the butter. I'm gonna put a fair amount of the cheese in the butter. Okay, we started out. Okay, so this is important when you're um, grinding up your. This is Romano cheese, not Parmesan. She never gets anything right. No. I didn't even say Parmesan. No. And then garlic. What, Lots what of you, garlic. What you want to do is you want to use the fine grater, almost like the zester. And that gives you this absolutely perfect... It is. It's really nice. Why is there butter in there? Because I put butter in. Ew! Ew! <laughs> so I'm going to put this garlic on. See this garlic? Crushed garlic. And right now it's smelling really Italian over here. Yeah, so then you smush it all together. The and cheese. That's a technical cooking term. You smush the cheese and the garlic and the butter and you make See, a paste. Otherwise the cheese is like this. Yeah, you make a paste. And I know it might seem like it's a lot of butter. I thought you said this was family friendly. What are you talking about pasties for? I cannot take him anywhere, not even to our show. <coughs> so you want to keep mixing it up. Oh, wow, that is super strong garlic. I'm going to show you guys. <coughs> so you keep mixing it up like this until it starts to blend together. The, it's not blending very well, but it will, and you know, a little bit. <laughs> After it gets the whips out, whips it. <laughs> so don't bring up your pass, Mark. <laughs> Who said that? Huh? What? What? I didn't say anything. What? So then I split my bread halves, and then I take my mixture and I spread it onto the bread. Aaron's watching. Hi, Aaron okay. Stahl. Wow. Oh my God, I'm so happy you're watching, Aaron. I know that you just got over the whole COVID thing. We totally were like, Aaron's worried. watching us. We were hey. so worried about you, but we are so glad you're here watching. So. And we're going to have a drink to you, Aaron. So yeah. you put a bunch of this butter stuff on here. Well, butter, she's garlic. buttering the buns. I mean, um, uh, buttering the bread. Uh, I'm going to... Take the can. And put sauce in it. I'm going to put sauce in it. Now, Show them the sauce that we use. We're, we're using the Classico, uh, what is it, tomato basil. Classico, now, usually what I do. Tomato basil. Yeah, you got to do where the little lens thing is. I know, I keep uh, forgetting. Usually what I do is mix a couple of different ones together, but this is actually really good. Not that Chef Boyardee crap that. Yeah. And we're amateur on this whole camera thing, so that's part of the problem. <laughs> Aaron says, thanks. That's so sweet. So we're having a drink to you, Aaron, seriously. Dump the whole thing in the, in the sauce thing. Now, usually, what are you there's, doing? Sauce left in the, there's sauce left in the jar, so I put a little bit of water in there. Yeah. Shake it up. And now comes the important stuff. Yeah, it's the important stuff. You throw the bottle it's away. It's probably wine. And you put in... A good amount of wine. 
probably a quarter cup of wine. You know that's not accurate. Hillary says, loving the comedy tonight. <laughs> comedy? This is a serious show, Hillary. <laughs> Seriously. All right, then. You know what makes this so serious? Fresh basil. We start drinking early. Anyway. When did we start drinking? We had a glass of wine beforehand. Okay. So, a good chunk of fresh basil. None of that stuff that comes out of the jar. It really needs to be... Yeah, fresh... Fresh basil. Cut it up. Cut up and the basil. we use the, rather than using the chopping thing, the scissors seem to work a lot better. Yeah, so. Whoa. Anyway, there's a fair amount of basil in there. What about the sausage? Not yet. Okay. I, want to get I guess we're on. not doing that. We're going to do this. Manny song. Ray is watching. Manny is one of our writers for civil disobedience. Hi, Manny. Hi. Yeah, you could join us. Hi. So we're making our Sunday gravy right now. Mark's stirring up the sauce. Sorry for the uh, cutting our heads off. I'm gonna try and move this around. Ah! There I am. Okay, so my look, my garlic bread is looking pretty good. S garlic is smeared on there with the butter and the cheese. Lenore, you're right. I need my wine. I need my wine. Where's my wine? I don't know, but Lenora says drink wine. Where's my wine? What do you do with my wine? <gasps> Oh, my wine. So. Cheers. Cheers. So now I'm putting mm. this in the oven because this takes about 15, 20 minutes. Not in the broiler because otherwise you get really crusty on the top and kind of raw in the middle. And I did forget. Put a little mm, dab of garlic in the sauce. Garlic. <sighs> We're using stuffy. a Christopher Ranch crushed garlic. It's first you, time. Haven't ever used Christopher Ranch before, so. You can Here. use minced garlic. Did you put salt in the water for the pasta? No. That's very important. I have to tell you guys, always put salt in the pasta. Here. That's, whoa! Why? My, because it makes the pasta taste better. Take the salt. Here. Take the salt. Where's the salt? I'm finding it. Here it is. Mark, generously salt the water. I'm going to lift this spoon. No. Generously salt the Why water. Give me another one of the white spoons. I will. In a second. Generously. Gen a lot. More. That makes the pasta taste better. I learned that on cooking shows. You could probably keep going, but that's all right. It's probably fine. <laughs> <laughs> Christina's watching us again. Hi, Christina. Well, Christina, Christina Salazar. So, where are we now? There's Mark's now, back. You put this on a medium low heat and you just let it simmer. Medium it's low nice heat. Hot. Medium low heat. Let's see. I'm coming over here to see, check out the medium low heat. Medium low heat. You guys see it? Medium low heat. Right there. What are you looking for? I was looking for the top of the garlic. I'm getting gassed out. I know the garlic <laughs> is so strong. I can't even believe it. Wine. Wow. Cheers to everyone. Cheers, everyone. More wine. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Now what? What about now the sausage? The sausage. Okay. Where is the sausage? It's in oh, the refrigerator. The Go get it. Oh. <laughs> that sausage. I thought you went the other sausage. I knew he was going to be making that comment. I don't know what to tell you guys. Dion okay. and Hillary, are you drinking with us? We use two reasonably sized Italian, Italian sausages. sausages. Now, we used to be able to get this um, Mark the spicy. This oh, they were spicy at Costco. But this is just the, the regular sausage. So then what we do is we put a little fire in the plate here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This is we a, add some. Oh, this is so good. Tuscan herb olive oil. This is so good. It's up in Murphy's, California. We love this stuff. This stuff is unbelievable. Yes. <laughs> Aaron smells like, look on, look on. And Laura is like, I'm drinking with you. Okay. And we oh, yes. Happy Hanukkah, by the way, to everyone who's celebrating Hanukkah. Do I get 12 gifts? You don't get any gifts. Oh. <laughs> anyway, put, you put some Tuscan olive oil in there. And then the second most important ingredient, you want to do this while it's 
Warming up, not when it's hot, is you add generous a, table, a tablespoon of wine. A tablespoon? I do a lot more than that. And then... He's doing something. We're back on the basil. basil. More basil. And we just chop that junk up. Chop up your junk, your basil. Right. Those are kind of big. Like, you didn't even, look how, that's like a full basil leaf. Right. Oh my gosh, are you doing this the right way? I am doing it. It's just for the taste. Because it's just we're for the taste. And then, we put our sausages in. And you put in. the sausages in. What about the crushed garlic? I forgot the crushed garlic. Oh, shit. <laughs> Go get it. Where is it? Ah, uh, here. It's somewhere. Lenora is like laughing at us. <laughs> Thanks, Lenora. How much crushed garlic are you putting in? A ooh, that it's seems gonna be, like a garlicky meal. Yeah. So no vampires tonight. Yeah. So one thing I wanted to mention to everybody is, this is really like Italian food. You can make whatever kind of pasta you like. So we really like tortellini and a spinach ravioli. So a spinach ravioli. So what Mark does is he buys this at Costco, and he pre-wraps them. He pre-wraps them. In the food sucker. In the food sucker. And so we got one of these out a little earlier, and now it's almost ready. It's totally ready to add to the water when we are ready. Now, this is going to start sizzling, so you want to cover it unless you want to like, clean everything in the, in the house. And then you want to have your... A good pair of ass pinchers here to ass pinchers. Yeah. Here, let me show you. I've never heard that. <laughs> ass pincher. And then you just turn these suckers. Now, when this starts bubbling, you don't want to pull it off like this because you're gonna get splattered. You kind of do this and just turn these off. Can you guys see that? Did I cover that okay? I might not have covered that. Can you show them again? Because I might not have covered that okay. Okay, wait a minute. You got it right there. Yeah. Let's see? Okay, I'm going to turn the sausage, and you'll notice that, that they're starting to go from pink to some other color. You'll what see. What about the sauce? What's happening with the sauce? The sauce did, needs to be. Did you sturdy. season it? I did. Did you put the Italian herbs in it? No. Put okay. some of those in. Okay, so you know, now it's nice and bubbly and boiling. Now, one of the things that's really important on your sauce is that. At some point, you want to add a bunch of Romano cheese. Don't do it while you're cooking. <laughs> Mark if, said, geez. if you do it while it's cooking, what's that? You can oh, throw the cheese. The, you can throw the pan out because it'll burn on the bottom. Right. So what you do is when the sauce is done, you turn right. off the heat mm -hmm. and put your cheese in there and then stir it up. It'll melt. It's very important. Yeah. You'll see. What about the Italian herbs? Time to put those in. Herbal so, essence. What are we doing with this? Put it in the sauce, but show everyone. We're using just some sort See? of Italian herbs. Put it up. Italian herbs. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. See, it says Italian herbs. Right. So we're going to put that in the... And this is almost as bad as our stupid little pepper shaker. Oh, I know. That shaker does not work very well. You need to put a lot in. It's already starting to bubble, which is nice. Look at the nice bubble on that. Oh, I hear the sausage popping. Okay. And you so, gotta stir that a little. Stir that. Let that continue to simmer. And look at what's happening with the sausages. Okay, now this is where. I gotta move the camera back because it might hurt the camera. This is. <laughs> you can just tell it's buttering. But I'm gonna turn it. Look how nice that is with the basil you on see, the top. See how. It's or if brown. you're in Britain, basil. Basil. Basil or basil. You can also do it like this, but you want to make sure you, you hold it. Who says basil and who says basil? No, that's tomato and tomato. No, I was watching a video and this guy was talking about this super you're, good you're recipe. You're showing the, the thing. You're not even getting us in there. Oh, I know. It's because oh. of the way the camera is. I got to put it in my other hand. See, it's much better this way. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I can say something about hands and... We're not going to go there. Okay. Anywho, it's time to drink again. 
Cheers. Cheers. Here, let's toast. Toast? Oh, speaking of toast, mm. how's our toast coming? Let's look. Let's look and see. I'll put the oven light on so we can bend down here and go, how is it working out? Mmm, garlic bread. It's going to need a while, which is why. Sorry about the spinning. I'm. We gave up on the tripod that we were using. Potato, potatoes. Oh, potato, potato. Pot potato, potato. I get it, Lenora. <laughs> but what's wrong? I know. Who else is like totally itchy because of like the wind the and the dryness that's going on? We're like, ugh. Of course, it could be the jacuzzi too. <laughs> anyway. Whatever. What are we doing now? Um, when do you the put the pasta in? Waiting for the water to boil. Oh. Let's see. Is the water boiling? It's getting close. Not quite there yet. How's the sausages so, looking? So the sausages, the sausages are looking, looking good. good. They're getting, they're plumping and they're starting they're to... They're plumping and looking good. And they're smelling really good. We need more wine, Mark. Yes, we do. More wine in here? No, in our glasses. Oh. <laughs> ah, Hillary and work. Dion, when you come out here for when we shoot civil disobedience... Oh, by the way, Dion, I don't know if you knew it, but Manny's on. <gasps> um... That we're gonna be fine. we're gonna that be drinking. It doesn't fine. matter. Does it really matter? Do we have to. Oh, I guess it does. Mark's like it's my wine glass, but we like share um, lots of stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Lenora's to... like you're killing me. Everything looks great. Thanks. Uh, by the way, mm -hmm. when you cook this, Babcock. You're right, Lena. We need to go back to Babcock. 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 Ooh. Bad. Dion's like, yes, I saw that. Hi, Manny! <laughs> mm. What? That was good. What's, what's oh, talk about why you use this thing. Oops, sorry. <laughs> We're not going to use it now until we wash it off because I dropped it, but why do you use this little zester zester on it's, the cheese? It, it's because it, it, makes, off. it makes, makes the cheese very thin so it'll melt real quick. You can it use makes it, it... You can make... Super With any kind of grater, oops. but this works so Super much easier. Shre light shreds here. Let me see if I can do this. Light shreds. Super nice. I tried nice. to do that when I put it, but the butter was there. <laughs> Christina says, wind blew all that yucky stuff from... Oh, man. Oh, the Babcock fire. Christy's watching us. Hi, Christy. Let me okay. see. Dion's like, we're going to have to stay a week so you can cook all the, re <laughs> all the, okay. all the recipes. So Absolutely. Show this because this oh. sauce is boiling really good. So the whole boiling. idea of getting the sauce to boil is you, you want to kind of... It's on low, too. No, I just turned it down. I, I turned it down. It was oh. boiling like It was a lot. boiling a lot. All right. Slid over. Let me see how... It How's this going? How's the sausages? Oh, you see how they're plumping up? Mm. Yeah. You see how nice and brown they're getting? Okay, so side note... Linda doesn't eat sausages. Those are Mark's sausages. That's why there's only two. So this is a... Chrissy's like, miss you guys. I'm negative. Thank goodness. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I don't eat sausages. I'm not really eating meat right now. So those two sausages are for Mark. Yeah. And I just have the sauce. Now, granted, he sticks the sausage in the sauce, and so nope. what kind of vegetarian am I? Not really much of a vegetarian if she I'm... Said, she said sauce. I'd say something else. Anyway, he does <laughs> put the sausage in the sauce, and I eat the sauce on top of the pasta with my garlic bread, but it's not really how a vegetarian would do it, so I'm not really totally a vegetarian. Actually, I don't think I'm a vegetarian. I'm a pescatarian. Because I really like fish and all that stuff. So we're going to do another fish recipe next week. What are we doing next Oh, not week? fish. We're doing shrimp. My spicy fish. shrimp pasta. It's amazing. And Christy, we miss you too. We're shooting a new series called Halloween Obsessed. Oh, let's look at that again. Nice. It's looking really nice. And, um... Christy's like, yes, pescatarian. We're both pescatarians. That's why we like each other. That's one of the reasons. Pescatarian. 
No. You're not a Presbyterian. You're not even close to a Presbyterian. <laughs> I'm closer I'm not, now. A pescatarian. Oh. Not Presbyterian. <laughs> There's a religious connotation. I'm an atheist. Sorry to say. <laughs> well, I'm not. Agnostic. I'm an atheist. Whatever. See what I got to deal with. <laughs> All right. So once you get the, the sausages brown, the whole idea of, of getting the sausages brown is to cook the sausage. But then you want to actually take the sausage and stick and it in the sauce so that it infuses the all that sauce. garlic. So I'm going to turn okay. and just because you can see it here that we've coated the the. No, I'm not showing them all the grease on our stove that I have to clean off later because Mark doesn't do any cleaning. It's all about me doing cleaning. <laughs> Did you know my job is like I'm a maid? I clean. You know, my job <laughs> Aaron's is like to make the money. That's true. Mark does make the money, so <laughs> I can't complain too much. <laughs> right, you can't complain at all. All right, so here we are. Sausages are going to be sausages are going to be a moving. They're on the move. They're on the the move. sausages are on the move. So if it's not completely cooked, the, this will actually cook. The sausages are on the move now. Do you notice that everything out of here is pretty well gone? Yes, it is. And so what we do is we put this back on and take it off the burner, on a back burner, so it can cool down. The other thing is if you're going to cook your sauce, if you're going to cook your sauce like a couple hours, put all that stuff in there because then it'll... <sighs> Lenore reminded me we need more wine. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I knew it. So we're, I don't know whose glass is what, but I'm going to just drink out of this one. Christy's like, I'm a Buddhist. What? A Buddhist? A Buddhist. So a Presbyterian, an atheist, and a Buddhist walk in a bar. <laughs> I got to hear that joke. <laughs> okay, let us know the punchline. It's awesome. How's the bread looking? Let's look at the bread. This goes in about, it, this is like a 20 minute meal. I'm actually a failing Buddhist, is what Christy says. The bread is getting a little brown. Yes. So it's doing pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the bread right now. Okay. So are we ready to... Oh, yeah. It's time to put the pasta in. Mark is being annoying. Okay, so I have opened the bag of pasta. Now, these pre bag what do they go for? Six minutes? Yeah, six minutes. And then everything will be done in six minutes. Six minutes, no longer. That's right. Six minutes, we're going to put a timer on it. But the thing is that these are things that Mark bought at Costco, and he pre-bags. And then... They are... Scrumptious. Right, and so I'm gonna put a little timer on. Six timer, minutes. timer, six minutes. Not 60 seconds, six minutes. Lenora is like, um, see, I'm learning a lot. I'm glad, Laura. I'm so glad, Lenora, that you're learning a lot of this. So the nice thing, again, about this whole Sunday gravy thing is if you have spaghetti that you like or linguine, you can use, you can use any you any use pasta spaghetti. you want. Uh, Whatever but, you have in the house, get a red sauce. This is not working. I need to, like, move my hand. Mm. Like, tilt it down. No, it's because... I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to use this new camera thing that we have. Yeah, it's called a phone. Oh, that's true. I did get a new phone. I'm super excited about that. It's an iPhone 12 Max. And I got that because of our Halloween Obsessed show. So we're going to be doing some interviews with that. So it's a super awesome camera, but I'm not exactly sure how, to, how, how to we show up in the picture. It should be sh ex show exactly. Right there. Yeah. Just point it at that and see if people can read it. They can. Can you guys read that? Wine, food, and fun with Lyndon Mark. That's us. <laughs> okay. Where's What's the... happening here? You gotta stir this sauce. Oh my goodness. The sauce is burning. No, it's not. L show them. I'm stirring the sauce. 
Okay, it looks okay. It's not burning yet. I guess we're okay. I have it on the lowest possible. He does have it on low heat. See? Low, super low heat. So what are you guys drinking? <laughs> Lenora's like, food religion, wine religion. <laughs> That's my religion, wine religion. Let's have another drink to religion. Or to wine. To wine. So one of the face posts, face posts, face, the face posts, face book posts was this guy is, comes on and says, uh, I'm doing the COVID home test. It's like, I open Lena up a Lena is beer. drinking red. Christy is drinking Margapino. Margatino. Margatino, whatever. Hey, Christy, we have the best strawberry margarita when you come over next yeah, time. Yeah, the next time. I also have your wine. <laughs> Lenora's like, I'm drinking red. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you were saying about a post, a Facebook post. He opens up a beer and says, if you could smell a beer, uh, then taste it. And if you could taste the beer, then you don't have COVID. So he does this like eight times during the day. And then he, the next day he says, I'm not feeling so well. So I think I'll have to take the test again. <laughs> Margarita jalapeno. Margarita Jalapeno. Aaron Stoll's having a blue moon. Iced coffee blue blonde moon. over here. That is so weird. Blue, blue moon. moon iced coffee blonde. What? Not sure what that is. <laughs> I don't even want to know what the hell that is. Aaron, is that because you lost your taste buds that you have all that stuff going on? <laughs> it's a little that weird. That sounds like the weirdest shit. <laughs> blue moon. I'm thinking blue moon beer. Then you say iced coffee, but blonde... Sometimes, a, can a blue moon be blonde? Well, then it would be a blonde moon. <laughs> Lena says, Kunin Sin Salt Delish. I don't even under, I, don't, I might even be pronouncing that wrong. I probably am. Cumin. Cumin Sin Salt Delish? Anywho. Oh, look what's happening with the pasta. Look what's happening oh, with the, the way, pasta. Oh, by the way, see this when it's boiling like that and it boils over? If you take... A wooden spoon. Give me a wooden spoon. Do we have a wood? We don't have one. There you go. Ready? There's no wooden spoons. Or wooden spoons. We don't have okay. wooden well, spoons. Well, if you have a wooden spoon, <laughs> put it across the thing. Whatever happens, the shit goes down and... I you mean that. the water goes down? No, the bubbles don't bubble over. <laughs> oh, the bubbles don't bubble. Are you going to check your bread? I just checked it. I'm going to drink some more wine. There's that. Blue Moon Beer. Because <laughs> what Christina says. Mark is toxic. So we're all, believe it or not, we're ah! almost, what? We're having a problem. What, what's the we're problem? We're having a problem. What's the problem? The pasta's boiling over. I never put the lid on. That's why. You just let it boil without the lid. Sorry about that. <sighs> Dion's having 19 crimes wine. I bet. Oh, that's good. I bet. Uh, we have had crimes. that. We, We've had that. We've or was had, it seven homicides? Seven <laughs> homicides and two mass kill, killings. Oh, two mass killings. That was actually very poor humor. We're very sorry about that. Okay. Three mass. Nope. Oh, sorry. No. No more killing humor. <laughs> oh. What can I say? Although he is killing the pasta. I am not killing the pasta. You cannot. Okay. No matter how much it boils. Get out the stuff, that, the strainer that you're going to put the pasta in. Oh. Not that. The strainer. The coliander. Coliander. <laughs> coliander. Strainer. What do our cupboards look like? Ooh. No, this one. Go with that one. <laughs> this one. That's what he's going to use. <laughs> Lenora's like, it's almost 9 11. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so wrong. Whatever. It's not like there's a fire over here. <laughs> You're right. I think wine is good. Okay. This is getting ready to come out. Oh, the pasta is ready. See, the timer is going okay. off. Are you going to like mess with your, your stuff there? <laughs> the wine was getting to me. What am I doing? Your bread. Timer off. Oh, let's look at the bread. I'm going to open the oven up now. So we Boom! Oh, look at that. It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Okay. But I'm going to leave it in. Actually, I'm going to turn it on broil right now just to 
give it just a little bit of a brownness. Do you wash this? What? Do what? You rinse it? No, I don't rinse the pasta. All right. Why would I want to do that? We want all the juices of the water, the boiling water. Okay. That what do you mean? Is ready to go. So now, here's the next important step. I'll show this you. is going to be cooking for like two minutes. It's going to brown right before our eyes. Okay. Don't let me forget about it, guys. Now, Wait, Chrissy says, shit, what was that? Sounded like Mark getting stabbed or something. I don't know. What was it? What was it? What did we do? I don't know. Okay. Anyway. Turn off doing? our pasta. Turn off the pasta, Mark. Take the lid off. Over here. And now. Now you put in the cheese. The secret ingredient. The and cheese. Save some of it for our. For our bowl that we're going to put it in. So you put a fair amount of cheese in there. <laughs> Chrissy's like, no, 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 not that much. What? Chrissy's like, you made a loud sound. I made a loud sound? Yeah, I did you fart? No. <laughs> when I was like, I'm oh, not, bread, I cut my bread to lose weight. No, I will not lose I'm pasta. Not Look at that. Oh, that's a perfect for the bread. We're going to turn the oven off. And we're going to stir the sauce so the cheese melts evenly through the sauce. And mm. as you can see, it is yum. It's almost done, guys. We're minutes away from a fantastic Sunday gravy No, dinner. we're minutes away. You guys are like sucking wind. That's true, unless you're actually making out with us. <laughs> so you want to get us? Oh, you have the bowls out. I did. Time to cut the bread. That oh. one is gross. I thought you said cut the cheese. No, I'm gonna pour us some more wine because look, we're almost empty. So we might as well finish off the wine to go with our meal. And this is why you make Sunday gravy because if you do it all day, by the time you're eating, you're worse. Are you even in the? Yes, I, I was perfect. <laughs> I'm try. Oh, wait. Lenora says, Lenora, try hearts of palm pasta from Trader Joe's. I love that hearts about all the people that are watching is when people like give, um, say Oops. something that they can't you, eat or you whatever. You should have seen our last show. By the way. Then we're, other we're, people we're, give suggestions. It's amazing. Oh, Thank you, Christy. You made it too dark. It got a little, but Mark likes it like that. He likes I, it I, kind of brownish. You know. So Let's he's going to cut it. Here, move this into the sink. And now you can cut the bread. Cut the bread. Cut the Yummy. Again. Oh, that smells so good. Oh. The, the, the flavors that are coming up here. Oh, are, my God. Between the garlic. Between, between the garlic and the, the garlic bread. And the bread. sauce. And the bread. Okay, so this is what I do. I take this... Handy dandy little, whatever this is. Ow! Don't cut yourself. Oh, and wow. I go into the pasta and I, I kind of dish some out into our bowls. Now I give me more than Mark gets because I that's a it. spinach. Because he has the two sausages that's going to go on top of it. I got three if you count. <sighs> So this is about how I split it up. This is mine. That's Mark's. What's mine is mine and what's mine is hers. <laughs> it's such a great option. It only has four grams of carbs, no fat. Christy, you are like, you have so much great information about you. Christy is like, oh, Trader Joe's has a great spinach tortellini. <gasps> you know, what? we're not having, we're having spinach tortellini, but it's not from Trader Joe's. It's from Costco. So no, that's not spinach, it's five cheese. No, no, no. This, what we're eating is spinach. That's that, spinach. No, that's not tortellini. That's ravioli. Oh, you're right. It's ravioli. I'm sorry. Of course I'm right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought I was wrong once, but I was mistaken. <laughs> that's smart. Okay, he cut up all that yummy bread. Look at it. He's putting it in a bowl so we can And what's it. nice is it's squishy in the middle and crispy on top. Yummy. Can't wait to eat it. Like, I need to eat all that bread. No. Okay, so then what we do is we come over to the sauce, and we ladle out 
some sauce into our bowls. So again, because I'm not having a sausage, I take this and I put it over my pasta. And then I give Mark the sausages. See, he gets a sausage. He gets two sausages. Because he's Italian, he loves sausage. Ladle that over. And where's that extra cheese, Mark? I have the extra cheese. I'm gonna put a little bit more sauce on mine. So I can dip in that garlic bread. Okay. Oh, so Mark's oh, okay. putting the... Uh, I'm doing the... Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. Yum, look at that. Cheese on the top. And how about yours? Cheese on the top. There's still a little more cheese. Would you like one more yeah, cheese? Yeah, more cheese. You can never have you can too never much cheese. Have too much cheese. And that. So we are about ready to go eat our meal. Lena's like, looks awesome. Oh, Aaron's yeah. like, this is the best thing I've seen all day. And I haven't left my couch. <laughs> Aaron, you're so funny. We love Aaron. Seriously. What I just want to hug him. What was this for? I don't know. That was nice we have too many dishes here. So we're going to go, oh, we're going to eat, we're, we're going to go have our um, pasta and, and then we're going to see you guys next week when we make my spicy shrimp. <laughs> when we're, spicy shrimp. Yeah. I can never be, be vegan enough because of cheese. Bye everyone. Bye. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold what? it. Hold it. We, we can't do the what? proverbial uh, sign off without the, without the song, the song, the great song by Donna. And to Donna. To Donna and Russ Orenstein. Donna started this whole mess, by the way. And to my brother from another mother. Lena said, but and petite. Bon appetit. But, bon appetit. No, but. But a appetit. <laughs> I know that was a typo, but. It's one of those spell check things. Enjoy. Bye, everyone. Bye.